The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. I want to start off with uh, asking you uh, an important question about a pipeline drug that's called pyrilotamide. Um, it's being produced by Kintor Pharmaceuticals. Uh, I don't know too much about this drug. I know a lot of people are hyping it up on the internet. It's sort of like Brizula or what was the other one that, that was in Japan? It was um, uh, Kenji or uh, what was the name of it? Anyways, with the Dr. Suji, it was another thing that was being hyped up. So what is pyrilotamide? How does it work? And, and what are your thoughts on it? The, the problem with all these drugs is, is you usually see that there is, there is a lot of hype, extremely hype, and the yeah. majority of them, they flop hardly, okay? So, <laughs> uh, uh, Kintor is a Chinese company, and they have some drugs in the, in the airplane regarding antrenalytic alopecia. And they try, or they have been targeting, like, the androgen receptor. Uh, because, of course, in, androgen, in the male androgenic alopecia, uh, Part of the, of the disease is, is, is due to an hyperactivation of, of this receptor. So pirotamide and bicalutamide and flotamide, there is a lot of drugs. Uh, they try to block this receptor. We mm. have used it in the past, these drugs, but mainly in women because they have systemic effects. And they are some of them, we, have, we are using them in urology to treat like prostate cancer. That mm. These drugs, probably what I think they will be used in the future, they will try to use in the future as topical compounds to use in male alopecia. And I mean topical compounds, topical drugs, because if taken orally, they probably have side effects in men. Because of course, if you block androgen receptors in men, you will have problems, low libido, gynecomastia, uh, all of the problems that you, you cannot really use these drugs orally in a patient with androgen alopecia. Topically, they may not have the side effects, but also their efficacy probably will be lower. So I mm. suspect, I don't know, because they, we don't have data right now. If you check the, the web, web page, you see some of them are in clinical trials, but in stage one or two, we don't have much data about them, but I suspect that these, these drugs probably I don't know, they, have, they will have lower efficacy than some drugs that we have today, like maybe oral dutasteride, as what I suspect. Mm. So you think that it's going to actually, might be less effective than, than, than uh, dutasteride, but also may have more side effects? Oral Depend dutasteride is very difficult to, oral dutasteride is really good. It has extremely, I mean, it's not perfect. We, we may talk about this later, but it's extremely, it's, it's really, really effective. It's, it's like probably like 40 to 60 percent more effective than, than finasteride, and it's very difficult to have an increased effectivity than that. Okay, that's the problem. I see. Dutasteride yeah. right now is like our apex drug. It's, it's yeah. really difficult. 